top 10 worst games of 2018. Number 10. I got this. You're actually time too. You can do this. Yeah, you're a game time. turned into rugby. What are they doing? Yeah, but if, if it's just. Smart, hey, let me ask okay, okay, there's a tackle. Oh my. His leg is rotisserie, yo! His leg is turning around like it's a rotisserie. Wait till you see it. Oh my god, wait till you see it. Wait till you see it. His leg was turning around like it's not a rotisserie, yo. I swear to god. Madden! and the rest of the sports games for that matter. NHL, NBA 2K19, all of them. They have become microtransaction havens that are infecting gaming. If sports gamers wanna gamble their fucking money away on worthless digital cards, I could give a shit. But it often spills over from here into all the games that we care about, and I'm sick of it. So you're wasting thousands of dollars. There are people wasting thousands of dollars in this mode. And that is why Madden barely upgrades every f***ing year because of those people. And I'm tired of staying silent about it. And I'm tired of our freaking uh, journalist outlets giving Madden 9s and 8s and 10s and because they know that this sh going on. Do you remember when EA tried to nickel and dime Star Wars fans, gouge them just for being fans of Star Wars by inserting microtransactions directly into gameplay progression? Well, what could have possibly emboldened them to do that was all these fucking ridiculous sports games that they put out year after year with the most sinister, manipulative, microtransaction garbage imaginable. Two Madden custom uniforms? Are you shitting me? I can't customize my own uniforms. I've been asking for additional uniform customization for years and making my own team. But no, I gotta pay for it. Two additional ones. One training pack? What does that even mean? What is a training pack? 50,000 mutt coins? Get an edge on building your ultimate. What do you mean an edge? A pay to win thing using coins and purchase packs? They take vulnerable children, gamblers, sports bettors, card collectors, and turn them into junkies of absolutely worthless digital cards in their ultimate team modes that only last for one fucking year until the next game comes out. People buy packs of cards searching for the rarest, most pay to win stats in the game for advantages over online opponents and bragging rights. It's absolutely disgusting. And it has destroyed the NFL license, the football that I love so much. And I've been waiting years to get out of this. And we're not, we're not anywhere in sight of good football games. It has gotten so bad that it has taken over development now. No longer are they adding unique and innovative modes to these sports games, like in the past, First person football, uh, doing modes where you find like, you know, build your own house and fill it with cool shit and customize your characters. Or no, first, let me go into create a player because they do this every year. We like to create ourselves and, 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 and you know, see how well we do and uh, add our favorite team. It. Four f***ing faces. Eight hundred million dollars in three this. Three faces. Those two in the middle don't count. This is a little darker. That's a little <laughs> darker. No, now instead they're adding modes or finding new ways to monetize every f***ing thing in the game with real money. It's not just Madden or NHL or FIFA, it is now 2K Sports. One of the heroes of old has lived long enough to become the villain themselves. To NBA 2K19, it is filled with this shit. So next time you wonder how gamers could buy into this shit, never forget where it's born and where it festers and where it occasionally will try to infect the rest of gaming. We must remain ever vigilant to never allow these to spread from these sports games. As these games itself, they're already a lost cause from both the greedy ass corporations unwilling to change, but also its unfortunate corrupted player base itself 
who buys into them, and I'm sick of it. Wake up, sports gamers. Fight back, and your sports games will be far better than just a roster update every year. It doesn't have to be this way. I haven't bought Madden in 10 years. Stop buying this garbage. 46 faces. We only have three. This world, this world all the faces are at, Joe. We only have no. three. No, I don't know what's complaining. Wait a minute. Look at number. Look at. Huh? Look at three and eight. Three and eight. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're cheating. <laughs> You're cheating. You're <laughs> cheating, Madden. Oh my God. Number nine. Whoa. I tried to do a, <laughs> I tried to do a flip, Joe. And he's dead. And I died. So the other stick is your. Whoa, Whoa, Joe! Don't hit the other stick. <laughs> Why did you fly off? I don't know. There's no reason for you to let go of the bike. I was just trying to. I know, but the game forces you to let go of the bike. Monster Energy Motocross. Monster Energy Motocross, sponsored by Monster Energy featuring Red Bull Motocross, was probably the game that we had the most fun with on all of these worst games, right, on this list. It has some incredibly funny ragdoll physics. Just forfeited. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't do that twice. <laughs> <laughs> that is what's so funny to me. That didn't even is that more sense. fun than the rest of the game? <laughs> that didn't even make sense. <laughs> I, I, mean, I exploded from a bike. Ah. <laughs> and ultimately, that fun dies pretty quickly when you realize that's all this game is. Over and over, the same shitty racing mechanics. And that's, that's all I got. That, that's it for this game. It's that. It's not worth the price. I mean, there's... Uh, no, that's it. Short and sweet. Bing, 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 bing. What? <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Best finish to the race I've ever seen. <laughs> Number eight. Are you prepared? Prepared to face these realms? To succeed where all others failed? To uncover the truth where others buried lies no and neither is this game honestly the best way to summarize immortal unchained is that it's uh, dark souls uh with guns but with all the fun sucked out of it from its copycat 30 dollar rip off useless body there were times where I literally just stood outside of their weapon range and shot them in the head, or times where the boss just forgot I existed and let me stand there shooting his weak point, resulting in them dying in mere moments. There were times where I watched enemy AI faceplant against a wall and walk into it, try to commit suicide via ledges, and constantly shoot one another. Almost everything about this game mechanically was mirrored over from other better Dark Soul type games but without any of the fine tuning, without the effort, without the considerations to rewarding gameplay and enjoyability put in. Everything about Immortal Unchained is ass face clunky. From the gameplay to the gunplay to the bosses, all of it just feels subpar throughout. It had a solid concept, and yes, it does look kind of interesting in trailers and on YouTube, but do not let that fool you. In the end, after playing it, it was just executed very poorly and felt like a chore to slog through and eventually complete. The entire world was somewhat bland and not at all memorable. The enemy types, they were boring. The bosses were even rescaled versions of previously smaller enemies. No! Stop that! 
Stop it! Don't get me wrong. There are a few fleeting moments of enjoyment every so often here on this list. It, it's, it's crazy. But the majority of the game was just unenjoyable. It's poorly done. Maybe someday someone will do a better gun game Dark Souls. And I hope they do. Because I think it's an interesting concept for sure. Just not this damn game. Existence. Destruction. Paradise will finally be achieved. No. No, it won't. Go away. Number seven. Life is a bloody, savage battle. And death does come for us all. Extinction. Extinction was a game that came about when a group of people sat down and said, oh, what if we took the shit mobile game style, the asinine repetitiveness and complete lack of design and effort that go into those games, but make it for PC. They somehow took the concept of fighting giant monsters, giant ogres, and managed to fuck that up. How? It took all of Dell's effort and willpower to actually finish the game. After a few levels, I noped out. It can be summarized as hit weak points and kill the same enemies for 10 hours. 10 fucking hours of the same shit. With varying levels of difficulty and the objectives always being the exact damn same, the game itself never does anything to innovate and it never tries to improve upon itself it's content to just sit there and be this and it feels like it just stopped trying after the first few stages it's the same thing it's one of those games that i couldn't suggest at any price point other than free and they are selling this low effort garbage for 60 dollars what the fuck It needed to have a sense of urgency to it, a sense of tension. As if this is triple A experience, an amazing game worthy of the greats. At least Immortal Unchained had the sense to sell for a bargain price at release. This game actually says, hold, hold my beer, watch this. And then promptly face plants into the concrete. There's so very little content for you to enjoy, unless you're just Trying to waste time, it's a good time waster. But so is fucking taking a shit! There are a great many things I do not know. But I know one thing for certain. I am ready to die for my people. Because humanity must survive. Number six. I don't know where they get all the way. Okay, I think I see why this the, is on the, the face, list. The facial features are very, uh, um, how should I say this? Um, oh, oh she stepped <laughs> in. a little up. slight twitch. He's got a lot of animation, huh? Mm. Mm. Agony starts off pretty interesting. It's got some pretty gross designs, plenty of M-rated content, titties, really gross titties, and dicks. <laughs> Don't look at it! No. You look at it, Joe! Why? You fucking look at that Why? penis. <laughs> Why are you doing this to Because chat? you said, Why you said, you hey, somebody chat? created it. Yes, you did. You said somebody created it. You got to fucking appreciate it. That's what you told me. God damn it. <laughs> no, I meant that for the boobies. Not God damn, look at that badonka donk that demon had. 
Some of the worst character models I've ever seen. You won't defend yourself. She'll fight you in her way. You go marry yourself. You won't defend yourself. She'll fight you in her way. But the idea of going to hell and exploring its lore is actually kind of morbidly interesting. Until you realize pretty quickly that in the game, it's just a collection of half good ideas that are not executed very well at all. For the lack of putting it a better way, it is agony. Repetitive level designs, tedious mazes, non-existent story, and a lack of cool lore, awful line delivery. It simply squanders its concept. And while it's interestingly obscene, it just isn't a very good game. Period. She's never really the same. For Joshua, she looks different. Can't hurt her with the torch, Joe. Should we push him over? Yes. You grabbed <laughs> What the fuck? I just grabbed a motherfucker's ass. What? What did he say? <laughs> At least it's only. $15, but even then it's hard to justify. The developers seem willing to fix it, and I think they just needed more time, more talent, more resources to put into it. It's just not, it's just, it didn't work. It's just agony. He's dead, <laughs> leave him alone. <laughs> He's stomping him. Number five. This is the best. This is the best thing ever. This oh is the footage God. you needed. <laughs> this is the footage you need for what? the thing. Look, it's on auto run, and it's just. It, it's been like this. Yeah, don't touch no, it. Don't touch the controller. Don't touch it. The controller's on his lap. In case you didn't think. Yeah. You get it. He can't. He can't figure it out. So I'm gonna go through here. No, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> I think I can make it this time. Yep. No, he can't make it. Well. What? <laughs> don't get why yeah, it's doing this. <laughs> oh, it's a oh! 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 Oh, no. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> He's just gonna... <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. There you go. So Dynasty Warriors 9. I was curious about Dynasty Warriors 9 hitting so many bad lists this year, especially the list of even die-hard mega fans. Reviews, even the fan reviews couldn't defend it. As a lifelong Dynasty Warriors fan, as a lifelong Dynasty Warriors defender, as someone who's played all the Dynasty Warriors games, so let me just say this. Dynasty Warriors 9 can burn in fucking hell where it fucking belongs. A very terrible game that I struggle to call a Dynasty Warriors game. Because it don't look like one, it don't feel like one, it don't play like one. It plays like a... like a horrible parody of a Dynasty Warriors game. It turns out the reason for this was the fact that it's a piece of shit brazen cash-in. An extremely lazily developed rehash that basically took all the extremely basic and boring elements of the series, Dynasty Warriors, and highlighted them instead of the shit people did like in these games. And then they, they made them, right? Oh, they made, these are the only things you could do in the game over and 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 somehow made them worse! Look, After all that cool effort, moves. I got a fucking... Let me show him a cool moves. You don't have fun. <laughs> Sick moves, bro. Wait, he, just, <laughs> he just gave it to me. It didn't <laughs> count. <laughs> Idiot. After all these years in the ninth fucking game, way more than that if you count the spin-offs, there is zero excuse for this. Now that you know who we are, you could at least return the favor. It has you traversing huge distances in this new shitty open world that's empty. Only the pathing is about as smart as a sentient pile of baby shack. Worse, it's still selling for a full $60. What are you, a bunch of imbeciles? Don't you get it? Boring, tedious, mind destroying. Bizarrely though, there is an actual trial 
for the game that you can play on Steam for free as if any human being on the planet would play that and think, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty great game, yeah. My lord, this is not a situation to make light of. Come on, guys. Battles are not fought on numbers alone. These rebels don't stand a chance against us. Okay. So the fact that you can actually test this awful turn does keep it lower on this list, but it's still a piece of shit game. Oh my god, we almost made it. One more battle. And I swear to god, if, if after we defeat Guang Hai, it says defeat Guang Lo. <laughs> 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 I would give this a 10 out of 10. You would give it just, a 10 out of 10? Just for the name alone. Number 4. You don't have to drink the dirty water. What do you mean? There's a pan right next to me. Filter it. Dude, what are you, stupid? This is not a pot. It's a pan. It's not a hanging pot. You can't filter water with a pan, you idiot! <laughs> Metal Gear Survive. Metal Gear Survive's hardest mechanic was probably surviving the game itself! I hated every fucking moment of this half-baked, bastardized, shit zombie cash-in after they kicked out Kojima. It's a piece of fucking betrayal! Everything about this game screamed, quick money, quick money, quick money, and the Metal Gear name is literally tacked on to sell copies. Cluster of Cuban crystals. Cuban energy? What the fuck? Zoom in. Oh, you look at it! Uh, <laughs> oh, ho, ho. you're looking for the Cuban energy, huh? It's right here. <laughs> look no further, man. <laughs> Bring the yayo. Come on, we party. Come on. Right here. Yeah. Oh, my mistake, that's Kuban energy. Well, fuck. They took the engine from an actual good game, the Phantom Pain, and made this shit. That's sick. It is sick in the head. It is like seeing your best friend murdered and then skinned. And then some serial killer shows up to your house in his skin asking you to give him money. They went even so far as to monetize having multiple save slots for ten dollars. Oh my $10. god, ten fucking dollars for another fucking save slot? No. Can I have a dollar? Not even a dollar. No, no. They ten. go. <laughs> Give me ten. ten. Nine ninety nine. Who the fuck does that? No. You Konami, seriously, f you. Yet Konami has the balls to do stuff like this and reportedly treat their employees like trash. No thanks. I just wish that someday some other better company will get the rights to these games, Metal Gear, Snatcher, Zone of Enders, and more gameplay. And survive was every awful mechanic of every shitty defense game ever designed crammed into one package with it all being excessively repetitive, stiff, and above all, unrewarding. The AI, non-existent. They'll never know. They won't go around. They go around. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Don't follow this guy. He's smart Alec. The single player campaign, if you could call it that, was a complete and total joke! With anything Metal Gear related tossed in just so that you're reminded that it was in the same universe, hardly. The only positive thing that came out of this entire ordeal is that Other Joe was able to build a pretty decent wall. 
Donald, Donald, who, who are you trying to keep out? Those zombies, they're gonna bring nothing but trouble. Those are criminal zombies, okay? I'm gonna protect every one of you. Okay? Check your facts. Fox News said those zombies, nothing but drug dealers, okay? Check this out. Let's make it higher. I'm gonna get a medal for this. Donald! Uh, Donald, sir? Uh, Keep can't... getting higher and higher. Donald, excuse me. Uh, can't the yes. zombies go around the fence or maybe over the fence? What's that? O over the fence or around What's the fence? What's that? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay. Get off get me. this guy out of here. Me. I have okay? a right to be here. No, no, no he does not. Do Donald! Donald! Back to work. Check this out. Number three. The Culling 2 came out a few days ago with no fanfare whatsoever. Surprising plenty, but intriguing nobody. And I know that nobody's intrigued because I've been playing it, which makes me a distinct rarity among the human race. The Culling 2. This year, I was gonna put Calling 2 on the list after seeing multiple videos on it from many people, including Jim Sterling. Just pitiful. Despicable and pitiful. I don't know how they're not embarrassed, quite frankly. They put out a $20 game that looks significantly worse than PUBG. Jaggy, ugly, borderline hurts the eyes to look at. It's offensively hideous looking, actually. It offends the senses to gaze upon its awfulness. It's a game that's so bad that it's actually not even available for purchase anymore. So few people were playing it that after a week or so, it's completely removed from the Steam store and everyone was given refunds. So in effect, I never had the chance to play the worst Battle Royale game ever. So I can't rightfully put it here so high on the list, but I found something far, far worse. <laughs> what the? <laughs> What is it doing? <laughs> Fuck that. It's gonna shoot it. Hey, uh, are you okay? <laughs> this is a new resin evil. at the last minute, one of the worst games I've ever played. Crying is not enough! How did I not realize it soon? She told me so many things about you. <coughs> I can imagine, Miss I Captain. can take you seriously. You see, my relationship with my daughter was difficult. <gasps> oh shit! Joe, you fool! <laughs> Thank God you're alive. Someone trapped our plane. <laughs> the trees. Someone get... set us up Take the bomb, this. Joe. Someone need... trapped our plane. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> when boom. I actually hurt playing this. For twenty dollars, you get to play a game so bad it will literally make you cry. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't. I can't do this no more. I'm sorry. I'm done. Only crying is not enough with this abomination. Imagine for a minute. 
if Resident Evil, Alan Wake, oh. and Silent Hill all had the Bee Gees. Oh That's bubble guts oh for those of you who don't know, right? And they just diarrhea in a bucket at the same time. <laughs> That is this game's consistency. And if you reached into the bucket, you'd pull out this game in all its dripping glory. There's so many glitches at times. There's barely finished levels. Okay, we're destabilizing now. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. I, I could fall through the world. As you can see, do you see all the seams in the world falling? Your character moves so painfully slow, and sometimes even the slow run glitches out to where you crawl in these huge levels at snail's pace. Well, oh, why can't I fucking run? <laughs> Sorry, guys. There's excessive backtracking throughout the entire game, going from the end of the game, walking all the way to the beginning for like 15 minutes. But the most frustrating thing is that there's absolutely no indication of where to go next or how to even solve its many extremely obtuse puzzles. <laughs> They're not even eating it. They're just pushing it around. Like, we wouldn't have been able to figure this out. Now yes. then, use the Zora Flaxen 500 grams. Not, not, this, not 300 grams. So then the, so then the pond released a key? How did the key come out of the pond when there's a head in the piranhas in blood? How the fuck is anybody supposed to figure that out? Important ones are even glitched and broken. Give me the goddamn key! I've already done it. No. The key's supposed to be in his fucking hand. The fucking game broke. All of this for one of the worst endings ever. What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ. Oh. This is fucking making the list. It's making the list. The only reason this doesn't make a absolutely number one Shit. worst game is that it was made admittedly by about two people with some asset team help oh, no. from others and it took them five years to develop this shit but in my opinion that's almost even worse at some point in those five years they should have tested their own fucking game because none of this would have been acceptable they had to have known and they're still selling it for a full $20 to this day. That is why it's fair and open to criticize. Just because it's a smaller team does not absolve them. And they abandoned their own game as of June 18th, 2018. No updates to fix this broken ass garbage. Just nice little letters, then nothing. Not acceptable. No, we have to do all that shit all over again. Fuck! Number two. You fucked it up. Congratulations! Congratulations, Bethesda. You are the first AAA developer ever to make my not only most disappointing list, but also my worst games list. The same fing game! Fallout 76. And you bet your ass this game deserves it. Guess does it work like why? And he Birds don't work that <laughs> Sunsets don't work that Just way. God. Apparently, the shadows are based on where I'm looking. Vision doesn't work that way. Unlike crying is not enough, this is a game made by Bethesda of all people, and supposedly with the help of some four or five different studios. 
Fallout 76 is by far the largest project that we've ever done. It encompasses parts of the studio in Maryland, Austin, Montreal for Bethesda Game Studios, as well as we're getting a lot of help from other parts of Bethesda. Um, some of the great folks at id Software, Arcane, ZeniMax Online, and so it really is a huge undertaking, not just for us, but all parts of Bethesda. No! No, it's not! That is hundreds of employees, decades of talent, thousands of man hours, and this is what they came up with? It is such a low effort attempt, I don't see any reason why I have to write a whole entry for it. Instead, I'll take a cue from Bethesda and just reuse my previous assets from the disappointing list. Play the clip! Just mashed together without much thought or effort. That's Bethesda. Everything failed to live up to what we had thought it had going for it. Yeah, I was saying something. 16 times the detail. I was definitely saying something. That's you. That's what you did. You did that. We made a real this game is bad. What? It's still bad. And it, it might always be bad. You should be ashamed of yourself. Now, earn our trust back. Seriously, for real. Please earn our trust back. But don't ever forget about Fallout 76. Number one. <laughs> Yo, wrong address, dog. You stupid or very stupid? the dialogue oh, hey man Jack, man <laughs> what's wrong with you dude what's going on whoa whoa oh, wow joe is happening no oh idea. i'm t i'm telling i took over okay oh my god okay, the combat here is uh what oh fuck it's kind of wonky <laughs> up 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 it's the same move over and over joe trying to fall down he won't go down <laughs> what the fuck? It's a zombie. Shoot that it's motherfucker. It's a zombie, dog. Help me. <laughs> the whole thing was a sick experiment. They decided to remo remove all the speech audio in the game to, I guess, simulate what it's like living as a deaf person as the quiet man is. We, we think this led to some hilarious voiceovers from OJ. <laughs> it's like, I know. Grandma keeps sending me these men. <laughs> I don't know why. That old lady has too much time on her hands. I tell her. <laughs> knock on my grandma. <laughs> what you gonna knock her out? Plain and simple. Uh, do it With quick. A bat. <laughs> <laughs> she means a lot to me. So I want you to do it. Because I like you. <laughs> uh, Choke her twice <laughs> in the head. <laughs> You got that? <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Secret. And we tried our best to make it bearable, but the game is essentially the worst, most low-budget, crappy CW TV show you've ever seen in its live-action elements. And they mix this with some confusing mom, or, or, is, or is your mom your girlfriend issues? Gross. And it has the worst brawler gameplay you have ever experienced well just oh, wait oh no. you got punched once let the fighting commence what the fuck, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that joe did you like <laughs> did you fucking like break your back did you fucking crack your back before you, before you <laughs> punch <laughs> Only, it's the same fights. The same fights, not once, or twice, or three times, or four times, or five times, or six times, but 49 fucking times! No! Why did you fucking have to 
again. Only the same two enemies. If you can, if you can even call a Mexican with a weapon and a Mexican with a fist, two different enemy types, over and over and over, pointless, a failure. This made the mixing of live action and video game, like you know, like Quantum Break, look like a fucking masterpiece in comparison. Worse still, a week after it released. With it put all of the audio back in, and we played it again to see if it could somehow redeem itself with a good story and, and justify his existence. But really, it somehow was even f***ing worse with the audio put back in. How? That's how it felt when you decided to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> but what puts it over the top, over 76, over its peers, is that nonsensical ending that seems to have been written by a 12-year-old. It does this realistic thing this whole game. Then it turns into a really, really bad f***ing emo fanfiction superhero game. Superpowers didn't work. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, that motherfucker's dead. There's no way. <laughs> it is the crow. <laughs> we got it right the first time. Oh, he's got some LEDs. <laughs> what the fuck? Where did you get batteries? <laughs> Where you come back from the dead as the crow's fucked up inbred cousin? You unlucky asshole, you're gonna get this cut. Your pancreas is gonna be nice and tenderized. Look at the chick, she don't care what she does. Look at that, look at that lighting in that, that wet She's puddle. Be pissing out in <laughs> She's trying to ignore it. <laughs> because she doesn't want you to beat her up, dude. <laughs> it's the type of game that can ruin a studio's name and reputation. And as with Bethesda with Fallout 76, Human Head Studios now looks really, really bad. And I don't even have an explanation. Just my memories of playing this awful, awful shit. Joe or him. Is there a guy behind my computer writing this as we go along? Hey! Hey! Somebody's writing this as we her safe. Shit! And then, um, and then the dad is now over. the real quiet man. Should have shot him when he had the chance. Wow! Wow! Family combat! So that's the list of top 10 worst games of 2018. I'm losing my voice at the end of this. Sorry guys, I want to hear of your worst games of 2018. Did you have any that I missed? Put it in the comments below. Did you disagree with them? Did you, if you disagreed with them, you are human. Did you agree with them? Leave a comment. Let's all get our butts ready. Let's take a break from that. Wow. And let's look forward to the awesome games that may be coming in 2019. I might put out a list for that. Maybe more to come uh, in a week or so. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, grab some merch. Thank you for supporting our channel over all these years. And here's to another one. See you guys on the next Angry Joe Show.